talk about the preset hub from ConMet. We're going to talk about your old hub and why you need to change it. But you can see this hub has gone through a few different problems. Number one, the lug nuts came loose and it shook so violently, the rims did, that it wore the, the hub pilots right out. But let's say your hub did have decent studs in it still and just the races were, were worn and not spinning in the hub and you wanted to replace it, you wanted to rebuild that hub, sure, you could go out, get all your bearings and all new races and new seal and do all the prep work and sand it out, pound them in, or you can just be done with it in one step. We put these on all our service trucks. It comes in a nice box. It's, it's safe. It's not going to get dusty and, and just full of grime from being on the truck. And when we need it, it's there. So after we remove the packaging materials, you can see that Comet did a great job of putting all the pieces together for you inside this hub. There's nothing for you to assemble. You simply slide it on. So Comet did a great job of supplying this new hub with a little lubrication around the bearings and races. It is a nice skin inside there. It's very nice, you don't have to worry about that. But what we should do is clean our spindle some and put uh, a little film of oil on here so there's a good, good mating surface for the bearings to ride on. Using the same fluid you'll use inside the hub, you just wanna put a very light coat on the spindle and threads. Wipe that around one more time to make sure you have no burrs. So we have our set, our hub set on our spindle. We have the seal introduced to its, to its seal shoulder and we have tightened the nut down by hand. We will now get the torque wrench and torque this on and, and have our hub seat itself, seat the ABS sensor, and then we'll get ready to do our final adjustment. We are set at 500. All the way to 500 foot pounds. We're there. Get the wrench off. Give it a spin. Spins nice and free. Even with just the pre loop that we put on there, the thing spins just the way it should. So now that we have our hub installed, we've, we've torqued our inner nut down to 500 foot pounds. We can now finish putting the rest of our, our washer and outer nut on. So we will put our outer nut on. The outer nut gets torqued to 200 foot-pounds. So 200 foot-pounds goes against the washer and the inner nut. So this little set screw will go into the washer. The washer is drilled for it in four different spots. You can pick the spot that's best. Let's get a small Allen head, Allen wrench. You just turn this set screw in and it will end up bottoming out against the inner nut. And what this does is just an added sense of security. So if this outer nut decided it wanted to start spinning off, it would get, one of the flats would get to that Allen head screw and stop spinning. Now that we have our hub installed, all the nuts are tight, we can now just put our hub cap on and fill our oil to the proper level and this hub is done. Another nice thing about the comment hub is there is a fill plug right in the casting of the hub that you can just pick the plug out and put your measured amount of oil in. This is great for drive hubs because you just never know when the rear end is going to send enough oil out to the hubs to lubricate the bearing. So you can take this plug out and put a quarter oil right, right in the cavity of the hub so the bearing can get lubed immediately. So I hope you enjoyed the video on preset hubs. Uh, I know it's a ton easier to put this new hub on, all new studs, new pilot, new bearings and races, new tone ring for your ABS, so much more convenient and peace of mind knowing that you just have everything done all at once and, and none of that pounding races in and out, labor wasted. So if you have any comments